you with it, bro. Is this medicine or a shot of liquor? That's way too many meals at once. <laughs> yeah, you should do that. Yeah, I don't know what. I was thinking, I'm seeing stars. <laughs> So I'm back from the doctor's appointment. It went well. Um, this was uh, just a consultation. I don't know what I was expecting, but in my mind, I thought I would get like a ultrasound. Like they probably had like some 3D ultrasound where they can look at the fibroids and determine X, Y, Z. Nothing. This was strictly talking about my medical um, history and what I'm currently dealing with and how has the fibroids affected me in the past and currently. Afterwards, um, I'm able to ask questions. I had a few questions on my phone. I asked all the questions to the nurse. Um, and then I was able to meet with the doctor. He has a really good spirit about him. And so he was just like, I really hope I can help you. And I'm like, me too. Um, the next step for this is that I have to have an MRI, which has to be approved by my insurance. So I am waiting for the doctor office to um, get an appointment for my MRI, and then I will go to that, get the procedure done. The results will of the MRI will be given to Dr. Zenith, and then he will determine based off what he finds if I qualify to have the um, UTI done. The UTI. No, UFE, Lord, does not have a urinary tract infection. I have urinary fibroids. Help me, Lord. So, yeah, that's where we're at today. Um, I'm really excited. Um, we did talk about the size of the fibroids. Um, because I'm, I'm assuming what they are, just about what they feel like and what I've seen in the past. So, that sounds like I'm okay to get the procedure because the bigger the size of the fibroid, the better. I do have a pamphlet. A lot of this is on his website, but I want to show y'all anyway. They just talking about the fibroids in general. African American women are more prone to having them versus any other culture group. This is what the back look like. And then this is what a woman's uterus look like with fibroids. Nasty little boogers. And then this is what the procedure would, what this would look like and how they go into your body. So from an artery down here, who would have known we had an artery like going in our hip and that's like the little plastic beads going into your uterus and into the fibroid so very interesting all of this stuff you can look at on his website I'll link it down below and so right now that's where we at I will come back real soon with the update whenever I get one alrighty y'all Hey y'all, hey, I am actually here to get my MRI completed at the hospital, so hopefully everything goes well, and um, I'm just excited because I know this is the next step that I need um, to get this procedure done and get these fibroids off of me, so um, let me go ahead and go. Okay. Hey y'all. So today is September 27th and I received 
my phone call from Dr. Zenith, um, someone from his office, not him, stated that they have all my results from the MRI and everything, and that um, Dr. Zenith approved for my procedure so I can get the procedure done. Um, she said like a whole bunch of stuff, but from what I remember, one of my fibroids, the biggest size is six centimeters. Um, there were multiple. Um, I have a lot of, I can't remember like the medical terminology that she used, but I'm assuming a lot of blood vessels um, going to the fibroids causing a lot of the issues that I have. Um, she stated that my uterus is so big that it has flattened my bladder. So that's the main reason why I always go to the restroom so much throughout the day. Um, oh, I just, I cried. I, I just cried like tears of joy, tears of like gratitude, like Lord, like it's been a long time coming um, to get to this process and to finally get um, some good news after um, a lot of sad and um, unhappy moments. So, um, ooh, my insurance, she said, should cover it 100%, which just floored me because I do not have the best insurance um, for my job so 100% oh, so I'm just like it's in your hands Lord it's in your hands and I just I have to be patient and just wait for his plan to be revealed to me um, so yeah I got approved and I'm a good candidate to have this procedure done. Um, I'm just waiting on them to contact me again once my insurance approves the surgery. And um, we will cover whatever fees I have to pay, like what's left of the copay. And um, set up the date to get it done. So... I am about to be fibroid free. So it just be my uterus. So excited. Um I'm gonna keep y'all any longer. I'll see y'all real soon in the next clip. Hey y'all, real quick update. So today is September 28th. I had my consultation with Dr. Zenith. And he's keen on September 1st. 28 days later, I finally received my uh, approval with my insurance. They called me. Today, we were able to set up the appointment. Um, they told me what to expect again. Um, I don't remember them telling me this like when I had the consultation but I found out that I have to take some medicine 24 hours prior to the surgery. And hold on, I have a whole list. Like, you no know, eating or drinking after midnight. So that morning when I wake up, no eating. Um, and then I already told y'all about the meds. And it looks like I'm going to be the first patient of the day. Um, about four to five hours. So I make sure um, whoever tells me, whoever takes me that they know. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be they. Um, so yeah, it's official. We're getting it done. 2022. I'm ending 2022 with no fibroids. No fibroids being connected to my uterus. And I'm about to begin 
the year 2023 with like a brand new chapter like I really want to be a mother and this is about to be a life changing experience for me so I'm just my husband is like, how should I say this? He's so like, okay, what we have to do. He's like, I'm the emotional one when it comes to this. Um, he just wants to be supportive. What we gotta do, okay, cool. I think he just wants to get to the act <laughs> of making the babies. <laughs> if you with me, you feel me what I'm talking about. Um, but I know he is like the best husband in the world, very supportive, and um, he really is the reason why I even reached out because I kind of just, just been suffering in silence, if that makes sense, just dealing with the symptoms that I've been having to deal with with the fibroids, so I'm just like, oh, I'm so it's a lot um, on, on the body and then you know you still gotta get up and go to work and just smile and act like ain't nothing going on I'm rambling this is too much in this clip um, so let me go okay, hey y'all I am three days away from the procedure, so I wanted to pop in with you really quickly. I know in previous clips, I told you that they, uh, Dr. Zenef team, told me that I have to take some medicine before the procedure. It's been several months since I scheduled this procedure, so I called his office like two to three times this week just to make sure I did everything that I supposed to do. I want to be prepared on all aspects. Right now, my biggest thing is just being mentally prepared because ooh -wee, I've been watching a bunch of UFE videos, just seeing what to prepare for after the procedure um, and what to expect physically. I like to be prepared. You can't expect it, but it helps me, okay? I knew cramping, I knew this. So check out my Journey to Motherhood playlist. I will link that right here in the iCard. And it has uh, um, some uh, videos that I found very interesting. So things that I have bought prepping for the after effects of the procedure. Um, I bought me some overnight pads with wings, some always, and I bought a um, a heating pad mm -hmm. um, because I heard that helps with the pain and the cramps afterwards. So we all sat in that um, category. Next, Dr. Zenith team was on it. I mean, so professional, so they just had everything organized, like all the questions. Nobody had to say, hold on, let me ask. Like they they knew. I mean, it definitely gives me um a lot more confidence in knowing I chose the right doctor. Like, thank you, Jesus. This is nobody but God. Um they send a email of just very in-depth instructions on what you need to do prior to the procedure. I printed everything out because I wanted to make sure I was doing everything. So the medicine that they mentioned in its medicines, okay? Plural. This is the list. It's 12 medications. I had to go to two different pharmacies to do them because they Dr. Zenev team stated that pharmacies are iffy about some of the medication, and then I figured out why one of the medicine is oxycodone. Y'all already know the, the huge ordeal going on with that. So, one bag of medicine. Second bag of medicine. And then I had to get this fleet stuff. I've never tried it before. 
Um, during my research and stuff, I bought some oatmeal so I can eat that during the morning to increase my fiber. I bought some prunes. I really would have preferred to buy plums, but they're not in season right now. What else did I buy? Pears, apples, just anything to make sure that my bowels don't lock up because that's the biggest concern from the videos that I've been watching. Um, oh, so I showed all the medicine. Dr. Zenith team provided a chart of when you should take what medicine. And they tell you to bring all the medicine with you the day of your procedure. So I'm happy. I, I have everything I need. I just need to pack. Um, they, just, they, they said to pack comfortable clothing, loose clothing, nothing tight on your abdomen, no leggings. So um, I have like some joggers that I'm going to take with me. Um, I talked, I think I, I, I believe I talked about everything. I talked about the medicine, I talked about the email, I talked about the chart. Um, I, I think that's everything. So only thing I have to do the day before the procedure is just make sure I have an alarm to go off and um, pull the medicine out to start taking it throughout the day. Um, so yeah, I have to take all the medicine with me. Did I cover everything? I think I did. Okay, I don't want this clip to be too long. So I will see you guys the day before the procedure. And we're going to go from there. Okay, bye. Good morning. This is day one before the procedure. So, I have medicine I have to take. Um, it says I have to take one of these pills between 5 and 6 a.m. It is like 5.25 a.m. in the morning. And then my next dose of medication, which will be three pills, is at 2 p.m. So I have my water. Let's get to it. Okay. Medicine down. Circle water bottle. This is a godsend for me. I've been using this for about um, ooh, two months now. I have a video um, just reviewing it if you're interested. Um, you could check out the iCard right here, and I will see y'all around two ish so I can take that second dose of medication. Hey y'all, so it is later in the evening. It is time for me to take my third dose of medication. I missed my uh, 2 p.m. dose. I should have took the medicine with me when I went to go get my hair done, but I wasn't thinking and I didn't. But um, um, it was three pills in total that I missed at two o'clock. It was two Tylenols and then one of these pills. I don't know what it is. But I'm taking that dose now. I talked to my cousin and I talked to my mama. So I feel good about taking it now. And I'm taking one dose of the Tylenol plus of my regular nightly medication. I have to take some Merlex that Bay is stirring up for me now. And uh, that's it for today. So let's take this medicine now. Way too many bills at once. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what. 
I was thinking, I'm seeing stars. <laughs> I haven't ate yet. Dinner. Whew. When I tell you I'm not taking all the pills, eh. what am I thinking? Took out on peep. Look at me, court. Watering. My eyes are watering. <clears throat> when I took out those pills, they just didn't slide down my throat easily. So I feel like some of that water I was drinking went down the wrong pipe. <clears throat> so that's why I was kind of like gagging a little bit. But this is going to help make sure that those uh, medication go down smoothly. Okay, while I'm drinking this, <clears throat> I'm going to give y'all a heads up on the medicine. <coughs> I have my medicine for my 6 a.m. dose ready to go. And I put it in a Ziploc bag. So, um, I'm going to take that in the morning. And then, um, each time I have to take some medicine throughout tomorrow because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be asleep. I'm going to have an alarm go off to tell Bay to remind me to take my medicine just in case I'm asleep. Oh. I'm almost done with this award. <coughs> a lot of bourbon off of water. Who would have thought it? <coughs> oh, no. Okay. I'm sorry, y'all. <coughs> All these burps. Okay. I did it. I'm all set for tomorrow. Medicine wise. <clears throat> oh Lord. Had a dog on first dose of pills. Oh well, the dog gonna feel that. <clears throat> Drink some more water. I'll be okay. Okay, y'all. I need to pack. I haven't packed anything. And I'ma see y'all in the morning. Hey y'all. So it's the morning of the procedure. It is 6.07 a.m. So I'm about to take my first dose of my medication. I'm breaking my pills up so I won't choke like I did last night, Lord. They almost took me out. So I will see you guys when we get to the facility. Okay, bye. Alrighty, you guys, I am in my bed in the gown with a warm blanket. And um, they're about to put an IV in me. And so I'm ready to go. Everybody's so nice. The customer service is amazing, you guys. And so I'm not nervous or anxious. I wish I could have a piece of gum because the medicine that I took at six it leaves an awful taste in my mouth. But other than that, I'm doing okay. I just, I just took my 12 o'clock dose, you guys. I'm out of the procedure. I'm back at a hotel. 
I'm about to go to sleep. Tired. A little bit more in depth in a day or two. Hey y'all, I wanted to check back in with you. Day of the procedure. I just took some medicine, some vomiting medicine, because the nausea and the vomiting is real, okay? With all of the medicines that um, I've been taking. Um, I'm definitely drowsy, tired, like. <sighs> but the procedure was really quick. Um, when the doctor came in, he just wanted to check on me before the procedure. He talked to um, Alan as well. And, um, he was just like, you know, I want to make everything better. And baby, when I tell you, he said that I, I just bawled for a good two to three minutes. Tears of joy, tears of relief. Um, just a combination of everything. Um, I went to the restroom. When I walked back out from the restroom, it was my time to go into the procedure room where they do everything. Common music was on. The staff. Oh my goodness, y'all. I, I, because of my traumatic experience with the miscarriage, dealing with the hospital that we dealt with and everything that happened um it's nice to deal with some professional some courteous healthcare workers they was very attentive um i'm on the um the uh the bed operating bed or gurney whatever it's called and you know, they're moving around doing their job. And, um, um, I just was like praying to God, just thanking Him for this opportunity and that it worked out. And I just had like a smaller praise, praise and worship moment to myself. And I'm just crying, you know. The lady, one of the um, nurses was like, are you okay? I was like, yes. I'm just having mixed emotions right now. They prepped me. They said they about to give me um, a sedative. And um, I don't remember after that. I wasn't out long because I'm, when they addressed me, Carrie, I woke right up. We're done. So I have a little patch on right now where the incision is. But other than that, you know, I'm good. They made me wait about two hours afterwards. And that's when the pain hit. The vomiting started. Oh, man. Since I've had the, the fibroids and the miscarriage, my pelvic floor is awful. So if I sneeze and vomit, I'm having yellow showers of urine. So that's what I've been dealing with um, because I am vomiting. Uh, urine is coming out. Even if I just went to the bathroom, like where, 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 where are you coming from? I got like an extra bag of pee. A pee in my body. So that is where I'm at right now. So, um, yeah, I just had a little session took, of throwing up. I just took the vomiting pills. I was trying to get my heating pad to work, y'all. I, I just showed y'all in a clip earlier. I just bought this. 
It only worked one time, and I don't know how to get it to turn back on. It's a sunbeam. But I'm about to lay back down. Bae's gonna get me some chicken noodle soup. I really don't want anything. Because I have a feeling it's not gonna stay, you know, down there long. But, um, yeah. That's where I'm at. I will try to check back in with you guys later throughout the day. Okay, bye. Hey, y'all. This is my first time eating since the procedure. I, I'm having some Chick-fil-A fries and their chicken noodle soup. And I have some crackers. Um, hopefully, I can keep this down. But I know I have to eat. My body needs some type of protein so my um, sugar won't get out of whack. I do not want to like lose consciousness or anything because I just whew, don't have the don't have an appetite because of the medicine. So yeah, just wanted to show y'all I am eating. Hey y'all, just doing my check in. This is my second to last dose of medication. Here go the pills. Um, the Tylenol they gave me, are, they're just ridiculous how big they are. Um, I'm so used to the other ones that you could just buy over the counter. So I'm just checking in, let y'all know I'm taking this. I'm going to lay back down. Um, a representative from Dr. Zenith's office did call me, um, maybe about an hour ago. And I uh, just wanted to check in and see how I was doing. Um, one of the pain pills, the main one, the oxycotton, um, I was only taking one. And she said I could take two to help with my pain because one is just not helping. I'm still been in pain uh, throughout, uh, throughout the day. So... Um, I just want to let y'all know that's what I'm doing. So if you have to go through this, you are prepared. Hey y'all, I wanted to pop in really quickly and just give a little bit more detail about today. The procedure took about 30 minutes. I kind of remember waking up and I saw the doctor. And what I just remember is like his head and his coat. And then I went back to sleep. Um, the medicine that they put me on through the IV was very strong. I was very drowsy, very loopy feeling. So um, one of the medicines, um, the nurse stated that it was going to make it feel like I have to uh, pee. Um, and I had to deal with that. So, I, But I couldn't move for maybe an hour or two. I'm not for sure the time frame. So I had to just lay flat and I couldn't move my right leg where they did the incision. So right after the procedure, that made me feel a little anxious. Um, even if I could have set up, it, it would have made me feel better. But um, I'd have a bedpan to go to the restroom. I don't know how long I was out of the procedure before the vomiting started. But, like, I feel like normally if I'm not feeling good, I can feel it. This came out of nowhere. Like, it was just in my throat already. And I just, but they prepped me. I just, I, I, once the vomiting started, holy, I think I threw up two times before um, I was like discharged out of the facility. Um, medicine, they gave me medicine while I was there. Uh, helped me put my clothes on because I was just not fully coherent. Um, they was very thorough with the procedure beforehand and making sure I knew what was going on. 
afterwards expectations you know for me and my body and um whatever um they whatever my husband needed to know they told him as well wrote him a note um for, you know for care for me afterwards my overall experience with dr zenith and his staff they are amazing he is amazing um I, I can't say anything else. I, I really can't. Like, I am so happy that I found this doctor and that it went smoothly. When I tell you I'm about to write a paragraph on my Google review, so just a blessing. Um, Body-wise. Because I only thought I could take one of the Oxycontin, because that's what my little pill sheet stated, it really wasn't doing anything for the pain. Now, 10 would be like the highest amount of excruciating pain, and one very limited. I would say I was highly uncomfortable, so I would give this pain a... Uh, maybe a, like a six, five, five or a six. I had worse pain when I was pregnant with the fibroids because that was a throbbing, consistent pain that I would never forget. So in my head, I only can compare it to those two situations. Um, um, I told y'all in a previous clip, that I did a lot of research and watching videos of other women that had their UFE and suggestions and stuff. Um, they said you might do a little spotting. One video said you do bleeding. Dr. Zenith team said spotting. Um, I, I went to the restroom when they allowed me to like fully wake up and walk or wake up like fully mobile and get out the bed and I wiped. And it was just a little blood on the tissue sorry if that's disgusting but that's what it was and so um that's it I bought a whole, a whole bunch of overnight pads so um they come in handy um once I started taking the two pills of the, the oxycot and that really helped alleviate the pain plus all the other medicine and the heating pad helped as well where the excision is I have no pain um, and my next step I'm, I'm you know I just be working on making sure that I take all the medicine to make sure I do not become constipated that's yeah that's where I'm at I want to make sure I now that I feel better and I'm not in pain and I'm more conscious and I'm loopy droopy dozy feeling I wanted to make sure um, I tell you about my in-depth experience with the procedure um, so yeah I'll check back in later hey y'all it is Still the day of the surgery. It's like 10:25. Um, I am taking my last dose of pills. Um, Tylenol and um, these are a antibacterial medicine. I'm in the bathroom. I'm trying to whisper not to wake up the hubby just trying to be considerate um of him but um yeah let's take these pills real quick and i'll give y'all a quick little recap
Okay. We have made it. Um, right now, my pain, like from a one to a 10, 10 being like, oh my goodness, this is awful. One being no pain. Right now, I am at a one. Um, I'm not uncomfortable, and all of the medicine like that I took around six and five, I feel like it took a while for it to kick in. This last little session of sleep that I just had, um, I have been comfortable. Um, the cramping sensation that I've been dealing with all day today, um, I would say it's been like contraction feeling because it's not like consistent. It like will go away and then come back. Um, so I feel really good right now. I'm so thankful that my aunt was able to bring me uh, the heating pad and um, what else did my aunt come through with? Oh, some fruit. And that was able to stay down. I haven't vomited anymore. Did I tell y'all around six that I took the suppository that you have to insert in your booty? I really didn't want to take that. I do not really care for those. But I did. And it gave me the most relief with the vomiting and the nausea. So that has stopped. Praise Jesus. So um, I definitely will do that again um, with my next dose of medicine tomorrow morning. Okay, I just want to do a recap really quickly um, for anyone that um, may be interested in getting a UFE. Um, my doctor is in Memphis, Tennessee. His name was Dr. Zenas. You can Google him. And I will also put a link um, of his website. Um, in the description box below um, make sure you like do your research um, I am so happy that I found this doctor um, and just his team and just everything just a really really nice experience overall um, compared to everything that I have dealt with, with healthcare and with um, the miscarriage and everything due to the complications of having the fibroids, it's really nice to close this chapter today. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about when I say um, that I had a miscarriage and I'm talking about, the, you know, you want to know more about my fibroids. I have a video where I discussed my journey with fibroids and how they ruined my life. So if you are interested, um, I will link that in the iCard right here, okay? Um, today was an emotional day. Just lot a little different emotions but um a really good day i'm very happy with how everything turned out so y'all been with me for a while we've been doing this for about three months to finally get here today and we're here and um look forward to my upcoming videos in regards to um, life after having the UFE procedure. Excuse me. If you are thinking about it, do it. That's my main suggestion. And, ooh, excuse me, y'all, that water.
I think you would not regret it. Thank you so much for watching. If you don't mind, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you would like to continue to um, hear my experience, life after having the UFE procedure, join the Diva Squad by hitting that subscribe button, put that bell notification so you never miss an upload. And I will see y'all real soon with a brand new video. Bye.